Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to do another foundation review and wear test. Long story short, everybody knows about CYO Life Proof Foundation. It is many people's holy grail foundation. If you could focus on the thing that I'm holding up to the camera, that'd be great. I have a wear test and review uh, of this particular item on my channel from a year or two ago, I don't know. And I, I really like it. It just, it lasts a really long time. It's really effortless and easy to use. It actually has a legit neutral undertone instead of like two pink or two yellow. And it's only $7. And I've had the same bottle for a decently long time and I'm like not even halfway done with it. So it's just, it's a great foundation. The only problem is that allegedly they're discontinuing it. Went out to Walgreens, they're out of my color. I'm just like, eh, whatever. I have tons of other foundations. I have some left of this one, it's fine. Uh, but then I started hearing that supposedly Soap and Glory has a foundation that is a dupe, that is very similar. It's in the same type of bottle, same ingredients, blah, blah, blah. Did a little research online and I wasn't planning on grabbing it but I just so happened to be in Target today. Target is a very unsafe place for me. Luckily Gear was with me and he's telling me to put everything back, don't touch that, don't look at that, we don't need that. Pretty frustrating to be honest when we're there and I want to like grab everything but in the long run it's better. I Target's not a safe place. Everything there is just too freaking cute. I shouldn't be allowed in Target. But I saw this and I'm like bitch I know I need this. The one thing that I grabbed that was not on our list, Soap and Glory, kick ass, all day wear foundation. I feel like it was a sign that I need to try this and compare it because I still have some CYO left and I just want to answer the burning question, is it the same? So right off the bat, yeah, the bottles are exactly the same, you guys. One big downside to all of this is CYO is $7 and this is $14, $13.99 to be exact. So why do, why, why? I get that Soap and Glory has cute branding and stuff and like they're in Target, but why do you have to double the price? Second of all, uh, on the website, the ingredient lists didn't look exactly the same. So I was like, oh, well, you know, they're probably, probably slightly different. But interestingly enough, the ingredients on the bottle are literally exactly the same and in the same order. Packaging's exactly the same, ingredients are exactly the same, and the nail in the coffin for me is that they're both made in France, they are both made by the Boots Company and distributed in the USA by Boots New York. This is the same exact product, and there, there's some, there, for some reason, well, I mean, like, not really for some reason, for more profit, they're transitioning CYO out, and Soap and Glory is in. Why? To make more money. I mean, that's just that. That is just that. To be honest, $14 for a foundation, for a good foundation, for something that could potentially be the equivalent equivalent of my holy grail foundation is not bad you guys i reviewed like a 38 dollar foundation the other day um i've got a 40 dollar 40 or 38 dollar foundation review coming up that i need to try it's just like that's a lot for foundation we're gonna see if if this is the exact same thing just twice the price here is cyo and then there is soap and glory and i'm just gonna kind of Smear them a little bit. And here we have them completely dried down. CYO and then Soap and Glory. All right, now the only primer that I deem worthy is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna put it in my brows while I'm at it. Brow gel. Let's start out with the CYO. We're gonna put the CYO on the left-hand side of my face. It applies really well with a brush. That's one of the reasons why I love it. Applying foundations with the brush is so much faster. All right, even though it blends very nicely with the brush, I like to smooth that out with the sponge afterwards just for ultimate airbrushed perfection 
but the sponge does take away a little bit of coverage so I always add a little bit more it just it does everything that I want a foundation to do and it kind of ruins other foundations for me because it spreads beautifully with a brush or a sponge the coverage is beautiful, it's buildable, you can do one layer or two. It doesn't cling to any dry areas. It fills in on the side of my nose right now, right there, which is such a freaking pain in the ass when foundations won't get in there. <laughs> I think I should, uh, I think I should use a different brush. Different but similar brush, just to make sure that there's no tomfoolery. I don't know. I think it's because it's a. This is a brand new bottle, but it feels like liquidier. Same exact color. We'll use the butt end of the sponge for this side. It's the same freaking shit. Both foundations blended out beautifully, effortlessly, very easily, and look exactly the same. Uh, I'm just gonna finish my face. If you want to stick around and watch. The tutorial and chill then uh, let's get into it if not feel free to skip forward to wherever you feel like you want to I'm gonna be wearing the foundation all day and doing a final check-in at the end of the night I'm just gonna contour really quick I'm, I've been testing this out it's the elf cream contour kit I like this shade so since we're just gonna chill and do the rest of my makeup thought I might chat with you guys a little bit I've been in this like filming mood every day so I've been filming every day which is really fun only I don't want to edit every day so I'm just getting this like build up of videos that I need to edit and I'm just uh, yeah it's kind of just building up because like I want to sit down and talk and do makeup and chill but it's the editing part that takes so long it's so annoying not annoying I love editing but it takes a long time filming takes a long time too but it's more fun usually but anyway so I woke up at 7 in the morning uh, been trying Karen and I have been trying to do this thing where we wake up early we're both self-employed it's kind of hard to be your own boss sometimes and like not stay up till 2 in the morning watching YouTube videos and then sleep until like you know 1 have breakfast at lunchtime and then you know just <laughs> sometimes it's hard to manage your time when you're like left in, in charge of it but so uh, I always feel a lot better when I get up really early so we're trying to wake up early luckily this morning I didn't even need an alarm to wake up I woke up at 7 on my own and I just decided I'm not gonna roll back over and go to bed I'm just gonna get up start my day the world is my fucking oyster I am on my second cup of coffee started getting tired <laughs> started getting tired at noon but I, we already went on our walk went and did errands kind of bummed that I didn't really like vlog because lately with my with my wear tests I've been vlogging a little bit let me know if you guys enjoy that because I really like it nothing crazy we don't have a crazy life it's pretty mundane but I like filming just like the little normal things speaking of being on that subject like vlogs and shit like that I noticed that there are so many bigger youtubers who have will have a beauty channel and then a vlog channel and like they separate it which seems like a good idea for the bigger channels because like they've already got an audience of makeup I literally don't remember what I was talking about I had to take a phone call so I'm gonna move on to concealer <laughs> my face is kind of looking a little dark um, the CYO it is a little dark for me I could use, I could, I need a little bit more pink. My arms are just really red, my arms and my chest, so you guys, just please don't clock me, okay? I'm going to conceal. This is what I've been using for concealer lately, and I really enjoy it. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade L100 Fair Porcelain. really enjoyed this last time I used it. 
Okay, so I think I was talking about like vlogging and how other people like start a whole second channel. But um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna do that just cause I've got the ASMR channel, which is like not doing super well. <laughs> I just don't need to have like eight different small channels. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're looking beautiful. We're looking dewy and moist. I'm gonna use my Holy Grail setting powder. It's RCMA No Color Powder. It comes in a big thing like this, but I just saved an old NYC powder container and I keep it in that. So I need to bake this particular concealer. So that's what I'm gonna do under my eyes. Just make sure everything's blended. <laughs> I'm like looking for my sponge. I already freaking put powder on it. Another thing that I really love about the CYO foundation is it looks good whether you bake or not, you know? I just feel like it's it's a real no-brainer foundation. Like, I personally don't really like makeup products that you have to, like, use in a certain way or else it's gonna be a catastrophe. I really w just want to be able to kind of, like, do my makeup without thinking too much about it or, like, jumping through hoops, you know what I'm saying? Alright, browser did. Let's pop a little highlight on. So yeah, I'm probably just going to be filming and editing for the rest of the day since I uh, kind of already got my errands and my exercise done. But it's still going to be a good test because it is very warm. I think I'm feeling a pink blush. Let's see. This is Laura Mercier Chai Blush which is so pretty. It's a really nice color. I know Laura Mercier is kind of expensive, so if you can't afford it, just try to get something this color. It's like a muted, like not too crazy pink. It's just so beautiful and so easy to wear. Mm, might be a little too easy to apply because that, that looks a little cuckoo. I'm gonna clean up. This, uh, this jawline here. Why am I not in the center? Ooh, that look, that, that's nice. Yeah, that helped a lot. I'm gonna melt everything down with some setting spray. Urban Decay All Nighter. It's so refreshing, I don't want to stop spraying it. Alright, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy for my eyeshadow. Let's just do something basic. Watch, it's gonna turn into something crazy. Let's just do something really neutral. I'm grabbing this really light contour shade right here from Increase. Let's pop that down here on the lower lash line as well. Did I do too much blush? The lightest color in the palette right here? Nope. This one. Is gonna go in the inner corner. Inner half of the lid. I think I just wanna do a wing today. So this is the Urban Decay Perversion Fine Tip Eyeliner Pen. This is the best eyeliner pen of all time. Except how the hairs keep getting fucking wonky when I put the lid on. Lash time. These ones look cute. Number 18. Hmm. These ones are number 18. By Cadabra. Alright guys, so the face is done. It has been like two hours. It takes so long. <laughs> Everything's looking great, feeling great. Let me zoom in. Zoomed in with the lighting down so you can kind of see. It's flawless. Honestly, other than the fact that I feel like it, I need a, maybe need a little bit of lighter shade. Maybe need needed more of like a pinker shade. Maybe I just need to get a freaking tan. But I think it's pretty. It looks it looks nice. It feels nice. I don't have a lip on right now because I think I'm going to do a lip swatch video. But just wanted to show you. I'm going to be checking in throughout the day. 
and we'll go from there. But so far, I think it's the same freaking foundation. Hey guys, update. Um, gosh, how long have I been wearing this? Four, four hours, something like that. I am so tired. Like I said, I I woke up at seven in the morning. I think I might need a nap. I think we might find out if this foundation is nap proof. I've got my little napping buddy right here. <laughs> it's already kind of irresistible to get out of bed when you're tired, but when there's a like 15 pound cat on your arm, it's even harder. I feel like something's missing and I think it's because I don't have lips or lashes on. I'm just feeling like my makeup looks weird, but it's probably just that. I feel like the skin is still fine. Let's freaking see if this shit's nap proof because I'm so tired. <laughs> Alright, I officially napped. Does anybody ever actually feel well rested after a nap? Or do they feel like me, like a fucking zombie after you wake up more tired than you started out? Foundation actually looks freaking great. What is this witchcraft? I had an eye mask on. I had my glasses on for a little bit beforehand. I'm like not sticky, not oily. I look, I look flawless. Wow. Okay, it has officially been 10 hours. Final check-in of the night. I just finished doing a lip swatch video where I swatched 24 different shades. And in between each time I was reapplying the foundations. And it, so yeah, my lips are tired, but honestly the rest of the face is perfect, this shit. It's the same formula. Yeah, they're doubling the price, which is a bummer, but the stuff is like, it's nap proof. It's 80 degree weather proof. It's 10 hours of wear proof. It's 24 different swatches proof. I mean, my, my, it doesn't look super great. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It doesn't look super great around my mouth, but look at the rest of my face. Like, this foundation is indestructible. No, you know what? This foundation is bomb, but combined with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, it's indestructible. It's actually incredible. It's fucking incredible. So, they're the same. Confirmed. Probably, I think. I appreciate you guys watching so much. Thank you. I hope you like this video. Let me know if you want to see more um, foundation reviews <laughs> and wear tests. I, I went on a blank there. Uh, let me know what products you want me to wear test, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.